Hello everyone, welcome to another podcast episode presented by Left. I am your host, Christopher Ludiger. Let's get started. Now, I want to first address the rebranding, and I will take it back into a little bit of a story by saying that the universe steals my ideas before I can come up with them, and I find that very annoying. For example, when I wanted to be a rapper at the age of mm, nine, I decided I was going to name myself Ludacris because of the way my last name and my first name kind of put together and then with the word Ludacris. And Ludacris was already a rapper, so he stole my rap name. Um, But shout out to Ludacris. (laughs) No, but I... I switched from using the EFG podcast to left because I wanted to rebrand myself differently. I wanted my logo to look different. I believe that what I say and what I do is different than most people who are coming up in the industry. And I feel that while everyone goes right and while everyone perceives that to be right, I go left and I think that is right. I hope that I can keep true to my branding. I hope that the branding is in line with what I want to do. I want to bring truth and honesty and integrity into the industry by providing factual, non-biased, correct information. From now on, the YouTube channel will no longer be the EFG podcast. It will simply be left. Now, jumping into what we're talking about today, I have a book called Simple Wealth, Inevitable Wealth by Nick Murray. Now, you can purchase this book on his website at nickmurray.com. Before I continue and go any further into this, I would just like to make it clear that I have not been paid to advertise this book. I have no affiliate marketing link, whatever, with this book. I have a link to the book where you can purchase it. However, you clicking on that link or you just type it in the web address doesn't affect me at all in any shape, fashion, form. I've read the book twice, once through enjoyment, second time to take notes, and I will be reading it again and again and again. I personally believe the book is really good. Otherwise, I wouldn't make an episode about it. However, this episode is not going to be a book review. Rather, this episode is going to be a sneak peek behind what is in these pages, and in hopes, I would like to see some of my viewers read the book and tell me what they think about it. At the beginning of the book, the author states some biases that he's considering and some opinions that you may or may not agree, but he states them to let you know that he is writing from this point of view and from a particular belief, which sets the tone and the attitude throughout the entire book. I won't say what it is. I'll let you find out for yourself. Each chapter has a just remember section at the end of the book. I will be quickly glossing over those sections as to give you an idea of what each chapter will entail without trying to reveal too much information to encourage you to read the book for yourself. The first Just Remember section we will be going over advocates and creates the argument for why a financial planner is a very good idea and how it will help you in the long run. There's not much more I can say beyond that without beating a dead horse, so we'll go ahead and get into the next Just Remember. The summary of chapter two talks about what it looks like to get real returns and how to make your money genuinely work for you, as well as redefining risk. Chapter 3 has a summary, or a just remember, section that discusses investor psychology and creates a valid argument for the long-term investor. Our fourth just remember section not only goes back to redefining the risk, as in chapter 2, as in chapter 2 and in chapter 3, but it also redefines a lot of other words. It also, again, makes the argument of the instruments that should be invested in if you are looking for, if you are looking to build wealth. In the next chapter, Behaving Your Way to Wealth, it talks about the tools you would need to build a retirement plan that will work for you. It also talks about one of my favorite things, dollar cost averaging. And unfortunately, we will not get into that can of worms on this episode. However, we eventually will. Our final chapter with our final just remember section talks about avoiding the big mistake amongst other things. In the last chapter, there is also something that I really appreciate. I think a lot of investors will really appreciate. But again, I'm not going to say what it is because I am encouraging those 
who are interested to read the book. Now something I will read from this just remember section is the big mistake the big mistake has eight basic incarnations. Many of the eight great carnations can be made simultaneously, and a couple panic following euphoria are usually made sequentially. The eight great mistakes are over diversification, under diversification, euphoria, panic, speculating, investing, letting your cost basis dictate your investment decisions and leverage. Now this book has so far been one of my favorite financial reads. There are a couple of other books that I am reading that might top this one, but I, yet again, I may not also be able to pick a favorite book. The book Simple Wealth, Inevitable Wealth, however, will be a book that I will continue to read over and over. There are a lot of great tips for the individual investor. Once again, this podcast episode is only a advertisement and a recommendation of the book. If you've never heard of the book, it would be nice to know that this book has also sold 250,000 copies. And if this is only your first time hearing of the book, then I guess it goes to show that there's no marketing behind what's being done with this book. 250,000 copies of a book that's not being advertised was sold. The word of mouth must be pretty good. Well, here I am. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you have any book recommendations, please leave them in the comments. And of course, if this book piqued your interest in any sort of way, I recommend you get it. It's a short read. It's only about 200 pages long of reading. Small book, too. Worst case scenario, buy the book. And you decide, you know what? I don't like it. And you can give it to someone else, or you can simply throw it away. $28, at least at the time of publicating this video. $28 for a book that gives great advice on how to build wealth. It sounds like a bargain to me. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Until next time, everyone.